Hey guys, I am in the Red River Gorge geological area. I'm right now at the visitor center, the Gladi Visitor Center, which is temporarily closed, but uh, I think later today they're going to have people in the parking lot giving out information and such. Thought I'd check out this little, looks like a homestead here. Yeah, I've got some exploring to do today. <laughs> Hope you'll come along. So the Gladdy Creek cabin, built around 1900, was once the center of a working farm. It had farm animals, smokehouse for cutting the meats, hay, tobacco barns, corn crib, outhouse, moonshine, whiskey still. Another barn stood nearby as a winter stable for mules, horses, and the family cow. Around 1918, then owner Stanley Gibbs built a swinging bridge from the cabin yard across Gladdy Creek. They have the cabin locked right now, so you can't go in it. The cabin never had electricity, but by the 1940s had running water piped from the creek, as well as heat lights and a refrigerator all powered by natural gas. and the other barn. Some of this old farming equipment is neat. So that's interesting. When they would float the logs down river, the lumber companies would put their brand on the logs. Then the logs kind of piled up in the boom and they'd collect them. They then had to worry about rustlers getting them before they actually got down to the bottom where they would be collected. Well, I am on the rough trail now, and I'm hoping to find Gray's Arch. I can see why they call it the rough trail. <laughs> so it says that Gray's Arch is a two mile trail And then this is being the rough trail connects to it. And I don't know how long this is. So 
at some point I may turn back. <laughs> I certainly don't want to get lost. It is rugged and kind of scary. <laughs> I'm dying. <laughs> oh my god. Well, <laughs> guys, I think I'm turning around. <laughs> it's getting really rough. Maybe beyond my limits I don't know having to scramble now and I'm not completely sure I'm even in the right direction this trail might have to wait for another day I say that but I've been on this trail a while it's a the rough trail itself is seven miles I think and I don't want to go seven miles today and end up having to hike back or Something like that. So I'm gonna carefully work my way back. Still a fun hike, except for the nervousness of it all and not being completely sure I was going the right way. So here's where I'm at. The trail continues up there. And I gotta get back down these rocks carefully. <laughs> Mind you, I'm only 4'10 in height. <laughs> Those were tall for me. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to disappoint everybody for not carrying on <laughs> and trying to find it. But... Man, I have to be smart about this. I didn't come prepared for this type of hike and the possibility of getting lost. Just have my hip bag on. I do have water, but I didn't bring anything, you know, if I got stuck out here overnight. So I'm gonna try to be smart about this. Take this as a lesson. Work my way back and hope I don't get lost getting back. I always look for landmarks just in case I do have to turn back. Here's one. <laughs> now at this point, instead of going that way, I wrapped around to my right. Although you can't see the trail, it is here. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Once I get to the creek, I know I'm good to go. <laughs> Another landmark. Not lost yet. Well, I kind of am lost, aren't I? <laughs> but I know how to get back the way I came so far. All right. I'm back along the creek now, and the signs that I saw earlier. See, it said Gray's Arch Picnic Area, three-quarter mile. 
but I didn't see anything when it split off telling me what direction to go. So I'm headed back to 77, and I definitely feel like I went more than three quarter mile. I was probably so close, but you know, I feel like I did the smart thing. Until I'm a more experienced hiker, <laughs> It's not a good idea to go beyond my comfort zone too much. I'm already a little beyond my comfort zone right now. I didn't come about this very smartly. Did I mention that I didn't bring my bear spray? <laughs> I really didn't expect this to be this kind of hike. Oh. Well, I hear the sound of the road up here. <laughs> Guys, I feel like such a failure. <laughs> oh. I just, I know I did the right thing from, for me. Not a tunnel road, guys. It's a narrow tunnel. My lights are on, but I can't see. Okay, now I can see. My eyes had to adjust. Ooh, this is scary. It's pretty darn cool, though. <laughs> There's people waiting on us up there. It's one lane. To kind of keep up here somebody's gonna enter it when this car's out of it not yet not yet not yet not yet <laughs> oh my god <laughs> <laughs> that was a lot longer tunnel than I thought it was going to be. I got ducked. <laughs> Very cool. So I spoke to the lady at the visitor center and I went about that Gray's Arch all wrong. <laughs> yeah, it went a hard way. Um, so I'm gonna get back over and go the way she told me to go. I'm either gonna do that now or after lunch. I think I am gonna go get some lunch. I'm really hungry. And then uh, decide from there if I'm gonna do that now or in the morning. So for dinner tonight, I am going to stir fry some veggies and make a coconut curry and that's going to go over some rice and add, I'm going to add some snow peas. I already have my rice cooked and the snow peas steamed. So I just got to do a little stir frying. This is going to be a pretty quick and easy meal. Carrots, scallions, Fresno peppers, habanero peppers, and then I'm going to be adding some ginger and garlic. Alright, I've added the ginger and garlic. I've also added some soy sauce and sesame oil. Now I've added my coconut milk. Now I also added a bunch of spices here, <laughs> Indian spices. So there's some turmeric in there, paprika, onion, garlic, coriander, ginger. <laughs> I've already tasted this sauce. It is delicious. <laughs> it's about ready. Well, 
Well, that was very good. <laughs> I think I'm going to bed early tonight. I got up early this morning to hit the trails and I want to do the same thing tomorrow morning. So I want to get everything packed up in the Jeep, settle in, get in some com comfy clothes and relax for the evening. In about one mile, take a slight right turn onto Gray's Arch Road. Gray's Arch Trail number 205. Well guys, I am at the Gray's Arch Picnic Area Trailhead now, and we're gonna give this another go. One and a quarter mile. Yesterday afternoon, my knee started bothering me a little bit, so this morning I put my knee brace on and hopefully it won't give me any issues. I have not been able to download these trails from All Trails app, which really would have helped me yesterday in navigating, <laughs> but I just haven't had a good enough connection. The trail is marked with white diamonds, but there are other trails that run into it, which sometimes can get confusing at least yesterday's when I was coming from the other direction <laughs> and we're at a junction Gray's Arch one mile going well so far <laughs> this has been a totally different type of trail so far it's wide it's clear of roots when I was looking at reviews they said it gets kind of rough at the end, so we'll see. I imagine I'll run into some of that stuff I ran into yesterday. <laughs> Starting to get more narrow. Trail's starting to get just a little bit rougher. Sorry, but I am not going exploring in there. steps. Oh, a lot of them. <laughs> just came off of 205 that way down the steps now I'm trying to figure out do I go that way There's a lot of stone formations over there or that way 
This is what the map shows. Came from the picnic area. Made a right. I mean, could this little trail here be to Gray's Arch? I think I'm gonna go dish just a little ways this direction, fill it out. Wow, this is neat. <laughs> now, is this the base of Gray's Arch? I'm not sure. It's a well-maintained trail. I just gotta remember that if it's not the right way to come back this direction, and I came from those steps. Wow. Imagine how many millions of years all this was here. Climbing up. Yeah, this is cool. There's the arch. Oh my gosh. It is a bit of a scramble. I don't think you'd want to do that on a rainy day. <laughs> oh man, I'm so glad I came back and tried to finish this. That's a climb <laughs> on my hands and knees. Uh. I'm under the arch. Spectacular. I don't know how you get on top or if you even can. This little trail here just kind of spirals around it and about halfway up. Kind of dead ends right there. I'm not a rock climber, so I'm not taking those kind of risks. That is pretty cool.
it's hard to photograph it because it is so big. <laughs> Can't get it all in. So yesterday, this trail became my arch nemesis pun intended. <laughs> and today I conquered, at least getting up here. Now I gotta go back. This trail coming from the picnic area is definitely the way to go if you need a little easier hike. Once you get close to the arch, it gets more difficult and you definitely wanna do it when it's not raining and have good shoes. Oh man. I got more trails to do today. More to see. Headed to Rock Bridge Trail now. So this rock bridge trail that I'm on is supposed to be about a one and a half mile loop. You get to the trailhead via that gravel road that's about three miles and it's not too bad. A couple spots narrow out but for the most part it's enough for two vehicles and well maintained. So I think there's an elevation gain and loss of about 300 feet. I think you hike down and then back up. I hear the waterfall. They're calling this Creation Falls. It's small but pretty. Onward and upward. <laughs> Ooh, looks like they're going to give us a better view. <laughs>
another beautiful hike. This is in the Red River Gorge Geological Area. Here we go. Oh gosh, it's so pretty. Now this is a real natural bridge in the sense that there is water running under it. It was formed by water cutting through that rock. finishing the loop. <laughs> so that arch and waterfall is at about the midway point on the loop. Really nice hike. Climbing up on the way back. <laughs> I just got to the chimney top trailhead. Chimney top rock trail is about 0.3 miles from this trailhead and also Princess Arch and it's about 0.3 miles according to my little map here. So I don't know how long that dirt road was. I'll see if I can find out but it seemed like it was long. <laughs> and there's a few other people here. Let's go check out Princess Arch first. I'm at the top right now. It's almost otherworldly up here. It's really strange. It's pretty cool. So I think this just does like a little loop here and then I'll be at the base of it. Thank you. 
pretty cool. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at this. Man. The passage of time. Now we're going to check out Chimney Top Rock. Paved path so far. It's a popular trailhead. Trail is now part gravel, part pavement. And it looks like it's turning to dirt. like a little lake down there. Very cool view. This was a nice, fairly easy path from the trailhead. Nice, easy trail you can't really get lost on. Now, heading to that princess arch, when you get down to the arch, it gets a little confusing. You can just end up on a loop. <laughs> Two great trails. Same trailhead. Well, I am back at camp. I got a shower and I'm gonna have to start packing up tonight because I leave here in the morning. Not this area, just this campground. I'm gonna be going dispersed camping after this in the Red River Gorge Geological Area. And I hope you'll join me. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.